Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the Enquin problem, which is a an application of the backtracking design algorithm technique. Okay, a backtracking algo design technique. So, what basically is a backtracking algo design technique? I hope you know. And if not, then you can refer to a previous video named as backtracking introduction in the playlist. Otherwise, I'll just give you a short in intro. So, backtracking means that I'm going on a particular path. Okay. And then I reach at a point where I feel that if I go any further in this point, I will not get my solution or I will not get my destination. Okay, so what I will do, I will not go further. I will backtrack. I will move backwards. That is, suppose I'm going from a city or you can say from a place A, B, C, my destination is D. Okay, so there are two ways, this or this. So what happens? I start from A, B, then I reach C. When I reach C, I find out that I cannot go to, I cannot go to D further. So what I will do? Will I go further? No. Why? Because I have to reach D and there is no way from C to reach D. I will simply go back to B and then I will choose some other way. That is, I will choose E and I will go forward. So this is basically the backtracking technique. Okay. And uh, now I'm going to solve the NQ in problem for you. NQ in problem will always be in the form of 4 into 4, 8 into 8 or 16 into 16 and so on. Okay. So we are going to solve or understand for 4 is to 4. We are going to solve for 4 is to 4. But let us understand what actually NQ in problem is. So suppose NQ in is given for 4. The number N is 4. So what I will do? I will make a chessboard of 16 cells. Okay, and I am having n queens, that is 4 queens. I have to place these 4 queens in such a way that no, no two rows are same, no two queens lie in the same row, no two queens lie in the same column and no two queens lie in the same diagonal. These 3 conditions have to be fulfilled. For example, if I place first queen here, okay. The second queen has to be placed in second row. Now second row, here, here, here or here. Now if I place here, column will be same. So I cannot place it. If I place here, diagonal will be same. I cannot place. If I place here, it is still okay. Because neither column is same, nor row is same, nor diagonal is same. Now two queens are done. Now I come to the third queen. I cannot place the third queen here. Because column will be same. If I place the third queen here, diagonal will be same. So error. If I place the third queen here, what will be column will be same. I cannot place here also. I cannot place. So now I what what do I find? I find that I cannot place my third queen in the third row using this solution. So what I will do? I will backtrack. That is, I will not go further to solution or uh, to find the place for queen number four. I will backtrack from third row to second row to first row, and I will say I will not place my queen one over here. I will place my queen one over. Here. So when I place my queen 1 here, the queen 2 can come here, then queen 3 can occupy this place and queen 4 can occupy this place. That is I found out a solution. But this is what? This is pure hit and trial method. Now we have to find out, uh, we have to find out a proper way by which we can solve this problem. Basically, in all the backtracking problems, we have to make a state space tree. What is a state space tree? A state space tree is a tree of choices. So what, what happens in this that from one node, we go to all possible nodes recursively. That is from here, I go here. Then from here, once I, uh, you know, once I verify or once I traverse all the possible, uh, all the possible ways that I have, I will again go back, reach here, come back here recursively. Then I will go on for this one. Then I'll come back. I'll go on for this one this way. Okay, this is the depth first technique that I will follow. The end queen problem is solved by the depth first technique. It uses a Q to be solved. Okay, so let us see. Let us see the problem. Now, let us find this. Let us make a state space tree. Now, the state space tree is of two types. One is the explicit and one is the implicit. In an explicit problem, what I do, I just check the row and column constraint. Okay, but in the implicit, I check the row, column 
and diagonal constraint also in this i do not care of the diagonal constraint that is i only see that is my this condition would become valid q q would be correct for this one but q q will be incorrect for my implicit constraints so i'm going to make a state space tree for the implicit constraints okay uh, sorry for the explicit constraints i start from node number 1 okay now at this level 0 this is say level 0 or theek hai okay so i have one thing is sure that only one uh, one queen in one row so 1 2 3 4 Five. That is zero, one, two, three. Level one, level two, level three, level four, and I will have. So that is one queen in one row. That is sure. I have to check out for columns. That is x one is equal to one, x one is equal to two, x one is equal to three, x one is equal to four. That is first queen is placed in first row, but which column? One, two, three, or four? I have to follow that first technique. So I will go on for this one. Now. This is node number two. Okay, so from here, what will happen now? Column first column has already been taken. Now what the possibilities left with me are? Column x two is equal to three, x two is equal to four. Sorry, x two is equal to two, x two is equal to three, and x two is equal to four. This, this, and this. But since I'm following the depth first technique, so I will write three, and then I will further explore for possibilities of three. I will not write down four and five over here because I'm following depth first. That is, I will traverse the uh, nodes up till the maximum length that I can first. Okay, so it has a possibility here. Four here x two, x one, x two, x three will be three, and here x three will be four. Further, this has a possibility five. X four will be four. Now, when I when I reach this state, when I reach five fifth node, does five node has any other options? No. What I do? I backtrack. I go to four. Does four have any other option? No. I backtrack. Does three have any other option? Yes. So I will traverse that option. The option is this thing. So I will write down four five six over here, then seven over here, then x four is one two four and three over here. Okay. Similarly, I will go on for these ones. So, seven, then eighth node will be this, then ninth, then tenth. Here, no other possibility. It will come back. No other possibility. It will come back. Then it has some possibility. Yes. Then it will go to eleven, then twelve. Here again, it ends. Goes back. Goes back. Here, any other possibility? No. So it goes to the previous node. Now it explores it as a possibility. This is done. This is done. Is there any other possibility? Yes, this is there. So twelve was there. Then thirteen, fourteen similarly, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. When it reaches here, comes back, comes back, comes back. Is there any other possibility? No. So it goes to node number one, and then it starts from here. That is, I write eighteen. And similarly, the same pattern will uh, continue, and the tree will be formed. So now, how you have to write these things over here? X four is equal to three. So here one three. So here, what are the possibilities? X three is equal to two, or X three is equal to then here X three is equal to four. If here X three is one, X one is one, X two is two. Here X three can be. Four and if x one is one, x two is two, uh, three, x three is four, so x four has to be one, three, two. What is uh, four? What is left is two. Similarly, I write down for these ones. Okay, basically what I have to do, I have to make a combination of one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three. Sorry, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. That is. This is one full solution. 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 And solution. This is one full solution. Now I know that in all of these, only the row and column constraint is being satisfied. The diagonal constraint is not being satisfied. So because this was the explicit uh, explicit approach, 
okay so uh, this was the first step the next step is the implicit appro approach that is you have to also consider that the diagonals are not the same so uh, that you can uh, try it by yourself and further more you also you can also uh, you know try out n queen problem for 8 into 8 or 16 into 16 for more practice the basic is this the basic way of forming a depth first technique is this the three constraints for the n queen problem are a row column and diagonal constraint so that is all about the n queen problem but you really need to practice this a lot of times and uh, you need to practice more questions on this and uh, so thank you for watching if you have any queries or suggestions you can please uh, mail me at lastminutetutorials.com or you can also mention below in the comment section and please do like subscribe and share and thank you for watching